Hey, my name is James Nicholson, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why your marketing is not working in your business. Now, I'm going to assume if you're watching a video like that, probably a coach, consultant, entrepreneur, business owner, or someone looking to start a business. Am I right? Well, if I am, then while you're here, do me a favor before we jump into the content. Give me a quick like on this video because that helps me with the YouTube algorithm and gets this out to more people. Now, I'm James Nicholson. I've been in business for 17 years now, and I've had all the ups and downs that you get as an entrepreneur and business owner. And along the way, I've discovered something very, very special, which I cover in my new book, Expert Mastery. And that will teach you how to use the business accelerator methodology to get and keep new customers and grow a business more profitably. Now, what I want you to do is join us on this journey, join us on this channel, and we will teach you exactly how to grow a business using marketing. Now, marketing is how you're gonna get leads. And then ultimately the leads, you're gonna turn some of those into customers. Now, why your marketing probably isn't working right now is you're probably going through the wrong like system to, to get customers, right? Now, this is my five-step system, which I cover in the Business Accelerator. What most of you are doing is this. You're trying to get married on a first date. So you're trying to send people from Facebook, Google, YouTube, newspapers, radio, I don't know, whatever marketing platform, you're trying to send them straight to your core offer here. Now, why that doesn't work is people don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you, right? And so you've got to build a relationship. Now, some people will go through <coughs> and buy from you straight away, but most won't, right? And so what we need to do is have a system that shows people that we're an expert, that allows them to dip their toe in and just see whether they're interested a little bit more, and then gives them a chance to have a conversation with us where we can sell the core product. And so we're gonna start up here actually with content, right? We're gonna start with content, right? So this content that you've got here is just value. I'm teaching you something, right? You've got to make content like that for your audience. So I have builders that I work with that make content about what to look for when hiring a builder, how to make your project be managed and complete on time. That sort of content is what someone looking for a builder would be interested in watching. I work with an estate agent up north and that estate agent, what they do is they create content that talks about the market update. Is the market going up, down, sideways? I don't know, whatever's going on in the market. That's really, really important, right? Next is the second step here. We need to capture some leads, right? So we're gonna capture some leads. Now we do that by giving something away and that could be like an ebook. So here's a, a printout of, of an ebook. We've got a few of those different ebooks that uh, we print out. Th these are PDFs um, that, that people can opt in for uh, and, and learn about. For example, this is one is about virtual assistants, for example. And so anyone that wants to uh, leverage their time and grow their business would be, it'd be a good idea for them to download an ebook like this. And so you need to create a guide report or a discount voucher, something that someone could opt in for, right? Uh, that you're gonna, they're gonna give you their name and data in return for something with massive value. Now that could be a training. Uh, it could be tons and tons of different things uh, that you could actually get people to opt in for, right? That's really, really important. Now, if you've got some value from this video so far, we're four minutes in now, give me a quick like on this video because that really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And just tell me who you are in the comments. I want to know all about the people that watch these videos. Now, the next step is that we want to turn people into a customer, right? We want to turn people into a customer. So how can we do that? Well, I work with a homeopathist. She's called Polly Tomlinson. She just sells a book, right? So this is her book, uh, and she sells this for a discounted rate, couple of pounds, just to get them to buy something, right? And she knows that if people buy her book and consume it, then they're more likely to come back and get other products and services from her. Like my book, for example, right? Expert Mastery, which you can grab in the description. The book is uh, real value and enough people will use it and implement stuff. And some of them will want more help from me in the future, right? That's how it works. Now, turning them into a customer, another way that you could do that is by getting them to book a call with you, 
right? Maybe you book a visit, you book a call, uh, you can do it on Zoom, you can do it face to face. I don't know, whatever works for your business. Um, appointments are really, really good for like consultants and uh, tradespeople as well. They need to book consultations and stuff like that, right? So turning them into a customer is next. And then on that call or appointment or visit, you're gonna sell your core offer. Or if you sold them something cheap before, like a book, maybe you sell something online to them or give them an option to buy something online. They don't have to say that yes, right? Now, what most businesses at that stage do is they go back to the top and they just go looking for new customers and new, new leads all the time. Whereas we're gonna be different and we're gonna create products and services that serve our existing audience, right? So the customers that we've already have, we're gonna add new stuff in. So for example, Polly Tomlinson, she's the home office, she has a book. She has digital courses. She has her normal homeopathy consultation. She has stuff on direct debits and she has a retreat, right? She's added new products in and not all of her clients want all of those, but some of them do, right? And that means she doesn't have to go looking for new clients all the time like you might right now. She serves that audience and says, you know what, if you need more help, here's a way that I can help and serve you that little bit more, right? And so we need to take people through a system. Now, because she's able to continue to sell, that means her average customer value, like the money that each customer spends, significantly increases. And by that, it means that she can spend more on the marketing. So your marketing might work already, but it's because you don't have enough products to sell to them that you can't afford it, right? If you had extra products and services and each customer was worth, instead of five pounds to you, 10 pounds, then you've doubled your turnover, right? You've doubled your turnover for the same marketing spend. So all of these nuances work together and I think the best way for you to really get this and really understand it is two things. One, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell while you're here because I've got new content on this every day. And look, if you want to fast track your results, just grab a free copy of my book, Expert Mastery. So I'll put a link below where you can grab a free copy today and I'll ship that out to you in the next few days. I think that's the best place for you guys to start and get this understanding on how you can do that. In the book, we'll give you some real world examples on all types of businesses in all types of industry. So go and do that now. Go and grab a copy of Expert Mastery and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Subscribe as well and make sure you follow all my new content every single day. That's it from me. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.